Hey everybody, welcome back to Antiquity. Let's keep going. Alrighty, so the beginning of the next round, we've got, let's see, so I've got some fish and some wood left over. And okay, everybody goes back home, which I've already done. And now we start building again. So, and interestingly, I think this turn, I don't know if I'm gonna build anything. Let's see. Well, so what I wanna do is, I think this is gonna take me a couple of turns. I want to build an inn, or a tavern, or whatever the heck they're called, out in the countryside, but I want to do it way out here, you know, off the end of this harbor, because then this will become a new center of my zone, and I can expand out from there and get out into the middle of the game. But to be able to build this out here means I have to have my harbor master. So, I mean, I, if I was going to have my harbor running, and then have a guy on a cart, so he could go out there and build the inn, that'd be great, but... The pro or, and actually, yeah, because the actually you build inns, as you can see, not with wood, but with food. So I've got this fish. So I could take a guy and a fish out into the woods to build the inn. However, you cannot build an inn unless you first have a manned brewery. So I have to build a brewery first. And as you can see, I don't have, I mean, I would need a third guy. I've got the wood to do it, but I need a third guy. I don't have a third guy, so I think the first thing I'm gonna worry about this turn is, go back home guys, I'm gonna use my fish that I caught to build another house. Because this, this is my first costly house. It costs one fish, that goes back and supply. I have built a fifth house and gotten a fifth worker, which I can use in the future. And again, I'm not sure if I'm really building that smart, but I'll worry about that later. Okie doke. And so now with this wood, I could, really about the only thing I could do is I could send my guy out and you know, build something else. I could build another lumberjack. Maybe I should do that. Well, no, but see, because next turn, or I could build my brewery now. Let's see, so if I just go on ahead and build my brewery, uh, let's see, and it has to be this side. It can't be this side. So that starts to limit you in how it goes down. So I guess I could put it something like this, nah. If I could do it the other way, I'd, I'd wrap it around those, but Let's see, so I guess I'll do something like this. All right, and that cost me one wood to, uh, to build it. So there goes my extra wood. So I have a brewery for next turn, and now I've got no resources. So even though I've got three workers, they can't really do much. I mean, I can put them on the cart, but unless they have something to take out into the wild, they can't do anything. I can put them on the harbor, but I'm not doing anything out there. And I can put them on the brewery, but I'm not building anything. So basically, I've got workers, but I don't have work for them. So that was my whole second turn, getting ready for a third turn. Okay, Jen's turn is going to be, let's see, now she's got a little bit more variety because she's got some stone and, okay. So she wants to use this wheat. She's definitely going to use this wheat and plant and set up a wheat farm. So Bob over here is going to go back to the cart so he can go back out or he can go to the wilds and he's going to take this wheat with him and set up a wheat farm because... Yeah, what is it? A farm needs one seed. And a seed could be grain, olives, sheep, or wine, which I guess really means grapes. So he's going to go out there and do that. This dude, let's see. Uh, yeah, she's got some more wood. He might go out and do something. Wait for a second, because actually, Jen right now is going to spend the stone she earned off of the mountains. And so that goes back in the supply. Where in the... Yeah, there we go. And she is going to build her cathedral. That she remember she was being smart and saving some space for it. Boom! Isn't that a lovely fit? Sorry about the glare, everybody. I wonder if I should turn the lights back off. It's gonna come down lower like this. There we go. So she's built a cathedral. And now that she's built a cathedral, Jen has to choose who is the patron saint of her uh, kingdom. So let's come over here and look at this. Here's the cathedral section. She can choose San Nicolo, San Giorgio, San, Santa Barbara, San Cristofor, Cristofori, or Santa Maria. Now, whichever one she chooses will define two things for her. It'll give her a special power that she can use the cathedral for, and it will determine what she has to do to win the game. See, if she chooses San Nicolo to win the game, she needs to get 20 men. She basically has to build all 20 houses, and those houses get crazy expensive. But if she, if she chooses this, she has the extra power of when building two houses, she gets to build the lower one for free, so she can build houses for free, and that'll help her build them. Now, I think Jen has already decided she's going to go for, which one? Um, 
Cristofori, which is have three of each food and luxury good in storage. If she ever does that, she will win. And what's her cathedral do? Let's her store any amount of goods in the cathedral. So see, Jen didn't have to build a storage house like I did. Jen can put everything she has in her cathedral. Now, right now, all she has to store is wood. And she's got an extra worker, so she's going to do something with that wood. Let's see. Well, what, what, what would she do? She could send this guy out with her other cart into the woods to build something else, like another mine. Yeah, so this guy's going to go out. He's going to take his wood with him, and he's going to build something nice out there. Okay, so we have finished the city section. Now we move on to orders, and it looks like I'm still first because I don't have any explorers or card things, and Jen has two, so I still stay first player. But again, I'm not going to do anything out there, so it doesn't really matter. Now we go in the fields. I'm not doing any fields this turn, but Jen is, so she's going to send them out here. Let's do the farm first. So she is going to, remember, her, her range is within two, so she's going to have her guy set up shop right here, because that'll be one, two, three, four. Or actually right here, one, two, three, four. Either way, it's four. And I guess she'll try to reach out as far as she can to reach out into that space. Okay. So, so that means she needs one, two, oh wait, no, one, two, three, four. She needs four wheat and four, you know, pollution. Oops. There's the wheat. There we go. Pulled the wrong ones. Four wheat. One, two, three, four. Pollution. And now she starts seeding the board. Boop, boop, boop. So this is going to be more land that she's going to pillage and destroy in her society's mad dash to expand itself. But not right away. And hey, there is an olive in my wheat. Even with my nice little thing here, these guys always get mixed up. Here we go. Here's another wheat. Okay. And... Jolene near is sits a farm right there. So now for the next four turns, Jen has lost another worker because that worker will stay out there until all that wheat has been harvested. And now she's going to send this dude out with her wood. And what's he going to do? Now she could set up, right, um, what's she got? She's got this guy in the mine. She could set up another mine over here so she could be getting more stone. She could be making two stone per turn. Or she'd be, remember now, she wants to get three of every luxury good. She could set up a mine here and declare that this is a gold mountain range. And so over the next four turns, she would get four gold. And she only needs three. Ah, gosh darn it. Ah, sorry, sorry. My sweaty elbows were stuck on the table. I didn't want to mess everything up. So she came over here and set up another mine. And then she could also use that gold for other stuff. You need luxury goods to build stables, which increases your zone of control. You, but that's two separate luxury goods. What else do you need luxury goods for? Actually, I guess, oh, no, you need also two different luxury goods to build a city. You also start to need luxury goods pretty soon to start building more of these houses. So she wants some gold. But again, I mean, stone is necessary for a lot of stuff, too. She need, if with stone, she can start building these university buildings, which would give her different powers as well. I think she is, but right, oh yeah, because I mean, she's, or she could just set up another um, you know, lumberjack, so she's bringing in two wood every turn. Because again, the more wood you have, the more you can build with. Ah, what the heck, I'm gonna have her build a set up a stone. She's gonna do some more stone. Um, just keep the wood coming in as a trickle and get some stone. So uh, let's see, that mountain range, she's gonna, she's gonna drink four stone, and then it'll be done. So she's gonna have to get gold somewhere else for that other. But, you know, there are other mountain ranges out there in the world. If she starts to expand her reach, she can reach one of them eventually. So there's one, two, three, four. So you can see why there's so many thousands of pollution chits. Because the world does just get more and more polluted over the course of the game. Okay. So she set up another mine. So she set up a wheat farm and another mine. So she's bringing in two stone per turn. Although this guy's almost done. Next year, she's going to get this guy back because he's about finished. And maybe she'll send him off to be a lumberjack or who knows what. And so those were the two guys she sent out for her fields phase. Now it's time to store goods. If either of us had any leftover goods, we'd store them. But we both used up all our goods. So Jen doesn't have to store in the cathedral. I don't have to store in my storage. And now we harvest. So I get another wood and another fish. And that's it. Jen gets another wood, another stone, the last stone. So this guy comes home. Let's see. Actually, I, oh, that's right. We're supposed to put our heart. We have this little harvest space because I think it has some meaning in some cases. There's some situations where this. Uh, so we actually put these over here in the harvest box. And the guy, too, because he harvested that and then he came home. 
And let's see, the first of her wheat goes in the harvest box. And another stone. So Jen just generated four goods. Very nice. Okie doke. All right. So that was harvesting. Now we explore. Nobody, Jen could have, but she, well, actually, for her to explore, this is beyond her reach. So she's going to need to build stables to reach this far. Or, I mean, if she builds a harbor, then she'd be able to use this water and the water to reach this. Or she could build an inn, which would extend her reach. So she's not going to be able to explore for a while until she extends her reach to get to these things. I mean, that's fine with me because if she explored, she'd make the famine level go up even more and that'd be even worse. All right, so now, famine time. Uh, let's see, and a number of graves equal to the famine level, which is currently two, minus one if you have a granary, minus one per food. And, um, you know, all right, so Jen's got one food. I've got one food. So, but the famine's at two, so we each have to take a grave. And let's see, here we go again. And I'll just go ahead and put J... Pelaine over there, and Jen gets, oh, hey, there's Jay, Jay uh, Weirsings again. And where's she gonna put him? Ah, she'll put him over here, over by the carts. All right, she's gonna build around that if she needs to. So we've uh, started to fill up with graveyards because of the famine, because there's always famine. There's never, there's never enough food to go around because we didn't have enough food. And at the end of every turn, the famine is gonna raise up. So, I mean, you can see, it's just gonna get worse and worse. Before too long, I think we're going to have to get ourselves either a granary, because that'll take three off, or get some more food production. But anyway, so now pollution. Once again, three per city. Neither of us have a dump, neither of us have any fountains. So we've got to put three more pollution out. One, two, three. And you know what? I guess I was dumb. I should have actually activated my harbor, because that means I, there's got, I've got more places, because I've got my harbor. I can put my pollution. Although, actually, well, see, this is where I want to put my inn. So it reaches as far as it can. So I don't want to put any pollution there. I guess I'll put one here. And that means I got two more. I can put them in this basis, but this is a really good place to put another fishery because it's got four lakes next to it. So I don't want to, you know, so I guess I'll, I'll put my pollution out here in the forest. And so we're starting to get squeezed. And Jen, she's got to put her three out. And she's getting even tighter. She's got, because of the water, one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven 10, 11 places she can put pollution before she's out of space and she has to start you know, taking on graveyards. So she needs to expand her reach. But I guess in the meantime, she'll just keep on putting over here. One, two, three. Oh, that's not good. All right, so that was the pollution phase. Check for victory. Now, Jen has a victory condition. Thanks to, oh, and I was actually, right, she was what, San Christopher. So we put this little marker here so everybody can remember that's what she's going for. She does not have three of every food and every luxury good in storage. Of course, she has nothing in storage, but she's working on that. All right, so nobody won. Moving on to round number three. Um, and again, everybody comes home. This guy goes back to the harbor. This guy, this is Jen's only worker because she's got three guys out in the field now who aren't going to come home for all. She's only got one worker in her city, whereas I've got three. Everybody comes home, and now we start doing city stuff again. I'm going to send two guys. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm going to activate my harbor and activate my brewery and send one guy out. And with these three, my harbor's active so I can you know, extend my reach as far as I can. My brewery's active so I can make an inn. And this is the guy who's gonna go out with my fish and build an inn and extend my reach. And which means I've got a, food, uh, a wood left over. I don't have any workers I can do anything with this. So I'll just go ahead and put it in storage. Okay, Jen, what's she gonna do? She's got one worker. Um, let's see. She can send her out, because she's got a lot of resources now. Remember, she can store as much as she wants in the cathedral. It's very, very nice. She's got a wood, so she can send out to get this guy to you know, do some more stuff, start generating more wood for her. I think so. I think she's going to get another lumberjack. Or, well, she can set up another field for more wheat, but yeah, she's got, which means she'd be generating two food, which would help fight the famine. But what she really, actually, what she really wants to do with this wood, let's think about this for a second. Or no, is it wood or is it stone? She's gonna build the granary, which requires one wood and that prevents three famine. So she's gonna give up her wood to build a granary. Where is the granary? It's a special one. It's a Tetris, another Tetris piece. Everybody remembers this from Tetris. She'll go ahead and put it here, right next to this. So, all right, so she'll put it right there. And now she's protected from three. You know what? I don't think I'm gonna store my wood. I think I was gonna do the same. 
because famine's starting to get about out of control. And now mine's a bit trickier because I haven't been paying as much attention to where I was going to place stuff. If I've been thinking about it, I would have been smarter, but what the heck. Oh, well, no, this isn't bad. I'll just do that. That's nice. My Tetris skills come in handy. Not too wasteful at all. Looks like I planned it, doesn't it? Nice and orderly. Okay, so we each have a granary, so we're protected from three famine. Alrighty, and that used up all our resources. So, we're done with that. And now order. Actually, Jen gets to go first now because I've got one cart and Jen's not going out at all. Because, oh wait, no. Because you could send her worker out. Oh, that's right, yeah. Hmm, she's got two stone. Is she going to do anything else? She could, okay, all she could send her worker out would be to set up another wheat field. Does she want to? Well, actually, looking at the board, she can't reach over to this land over here, so I don't think she can actually do it. There's no real place to send out that wheat. So she's going to store the wheat. But she could send out a guy. Well, she can't send out a guy. But she's got two stone. She should build something else with some stone. What can she build with stone? Oh, she can start to build the um, university stuff. She could do biology, which lets her build a farm for free of any type every turn. You know, provides the seed for her. Remember, she needs a lot of different types of food. That's not a bad idea. Let's see what else. Alchemy allows her to clean up hex, uh, one hex and its adjacent hex every turn. So if Jen had alchemy, she could start w wiping out this pollution. There's a little bit of magic in the game. Theology could tear down her cathedral and replace it with something else. So, you know, I mean, Jen might use this cathedral for a while, but then change her mind and try to do something else. She could rip this cathedral down and change it to something else and change her victory conditions. And philosophy is, um, oh, ignores the D. Remember, you need D different versions of food, to, two different foods to build this house. And uh, I think oh, you need two different deluxe items to build stables. With philosophy, Jen could build this stable with two deluxe items. Now, she's not making deluxe items. If she had made this a gold mine, she could get two gold mines. And then with philosophy, she could um, build the stables with two gold instead of needing a gold and like a pearl or something like that. What's she going to do? Oh my gosh. I think she is going to use one of these stone to build a, another farm. But she's only got one place she could even farm because unfortunately, she's put all her other pollution there in that other place that would have been a good farm. Oh, but there's over here. There's this space. Let's say actually when Jen harvested her wood, let's say she harvested from that. Because now she's got two grassland. Yeah, she's gonna spend that stone to build a faculty of biology. Where is it? It's gigantic. Actually, will it even fit? Where are you? Oh, here we go. Biology. It's a big one. But hey, look at this. It's like Jen planned it all along. Actually, it's just dumb luck. Because I'm not that smart. So she's built her faculty of biology with... Um, or, oh, biology needs two stone. So fortunately, Jen does have two stone. So she has built her faculty of biology. And now, remember, the faculty of biology gives her a free seed to build a farm. So she's going to send this dude out. Alrighty. And um, the biology gives her the seed that she needed. So, actually, as it happens, we are tied. We're both sending one guy out. And in the case of a tie, we stay relative. So, I'm still first. I'm sending my guy out. Um, he's going to use this fish and the beer from my brewery to set up and in. Right there. Hello. Okay, so there we go. I've gotten in, and now my reach is extended all the way out to here. And this is also a place I could dump more pollution if I want to try and you know not crowd myself out back home. All right, so I built myself an inn thanks to the brewery and the harbor, and now my reach is permanently extended. Jen is sending her one farmer out. He's got two farmland here. And what's he going to farm? Olives, sheep. What, what do we got? Olives, sheep. Or grain. She's already got grain going. She's not going to do that. Let's have her get, nah, doesn't matter, some sheep. So she gets two sheep, two more pollution. And so she's going to get two sheep over the next two turns. From Farmer Bob there. Alrighty, so now she's getting more resources. Remember, because her whole thing is she wants to get a lot of every type of resource to win. And I know that because she had to declare it publicly. Okay, so now that was um, the fields. We store goods. I don't think either of us have any leftover goods. Oh, you know, Jen had the one wheat, which she's storing. I've used up all my stuff. Um, maybe I shouldn't have invested in that storage because so far I'm being really good at using all my stuff up. Now we harvest. 
I get another fish and I get another wood and I get nothing. All right, so I just got harvest those things. Jan harvests a lot more than me. Another stone, another wheat, another, what do you call it? Um, wood and her first sheep. All right, there we go. Isn't that nice? Look at that. Okay, although, um, yeah, so, and in the next turn, she's gonna get this worker back because the wheat's almost done. In the next turn, she's gonna get, or no, two turns to get this guy back. This guy's gonna come back next turn. This guy's gonna take two turns, and this guy's gonna come back next turn. So she's gonna have a few more workers next year. So we've harvested. And uh, let's see, explore. Nobody explored again. Famine. Uh, let's see, our famine level is at three. However, we both have a granary, so neither of us suffer famine this turn. We don't have to take on any graves, but now the famine raises to four. It keeps on pushing. Now, the nice thing is, um, one of the things we can build, or actually Jen can build, because she's bringing in stone, she could build, build fountains, I think? Where are they? Fountain, 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 fountain. Fount I am blind, I am blind. Fountain, yeah, we go, fountain. Oh no, you need a luxury good. There's another thing you need luxury goods for. Fountains, for every fountain that anybody in the game builds, reduces the um, famine level by one. And it benefits everybody to have a fountain. It also reduces the pollution whoever has the fountain creates. So maybe Jen needs to start worrying about that so she can get a fountain. Anyway, there's a lot of things to worry about. Anyway, that's famine. Pollution time. And so far, neither of us are doing anything about our pollution. So one, two, three for me and one, two, three for Jen. Oh, dear. And Jen is really starting to get tight on space. All right, where's it going to go? Uh, let's see. Well, she'll do this nice little bit of, gra of gr grassland she just cleared out. And I guess it'll be this forest and this forest. Oh, it's getting bad. It's not, it's not looking good. All righty. And me, I got a few more options because now I can put, I could like just dump my pollution way out here where it's not going to bother nobody, right? No one's bothered. Um, let's see. I can go within two of this end. So I'll put one eh, right there. That's three wood I can't harvest, but I'm still keeping myself. I, I'm never going to, but Jen, she's really running out of space fast. And that was the end of the pollution phase, and now we check victory. Nobody's won yet, and we move on again. So, our dudes come home. Jen has no workers. Wow, all four of her workers are out and about. So I think this turn she's definitely going to use, well, she's got all this, she's got, unfortunately, she wants to save up her goods to you know win the game but she could give one of her foods up to build this house so she'd have a fifth worker but remember she is going to get some workers back next turn when harvest happens but um you know and she can use the resources without a worker the main reason she'd want to have a worker is to activate and now the granary i'm pretty sure the granary is one of the few buildings that you don't need to have a guy on yep prevents free famine no man needed in the in the granary did the biology need to be oh she had to have somebody manning this biology department to actually give her the free house. So I guess I meant on her last turn, she did have to use up her other food, sorry everybody, to build another house so that she had another worker and that worker had manned the biology department so that she could make that, um, that she could get that sheep. And so now this worker has come home. So Jen has one worker this turn and I've got two workers and I've got some fish and some wood. Jen's got uh, wood, stone, and um, two bits of food. She could use that food to get another worker if she needs it. That stone, uh, she needs to expand her reach. That is her number one concern. She really has to do that. So how is she going to do that? Now, one interesting way she could do it would be to build, use the wood she's got to build a market because that allows you to trade goods. She could trade with me or she could trade with the, with the game bank, two for one. And, let's see, but she needs two deluxe to build a stables that would increase her reach. Um, or she could build a harbor. With one wood, she could build a harbor, and that means this, she'd be able to reach over all the way over here. That would give her more reach, and, and it would allow her to explore again. I think it's time for her to build a harbor. So she's going to spend one wood to build a harbor, and then she's, well, Okay, well, I'm going to stop right there because it's starting to get dark and the shadow's getting really extreme. And I think you guys have got the idea. What have I not shown you? Oh, uh, there's a, a full cool thing. A cool, uh, what I'm trying to do is what I'm trying to build up to is now that I've expanded my reach, I'm going to try and get the goods I need to build a second city out here somewhere. You know, something. 
And, you know, and here's another way you can get rid of pollution, build over the top of it. You can build buildings on top of pollution. And so that's a way to recycle the land. And so if I build another city out here, I've got access to this mountain range, but more importantly, I've got more spaces that I can build stuff. Because what I'm planning to do is, I'm trying to go for, well I haven't decided yet, whether I'm gonna go for the have 20 men winning objective, or whether I'm gonna have the <clears throat> um, build every building at least once. And if I'm gonna do that, I need more space. Because you know, look, if I get another build, I, actually to do that, I think I'm gonna need three cities ultimately. Particularly because, I just want to show this, the way the, the, way the universities can work, you know, Jen, she built that biology department. So she doesn't get a chance to use, to do this. But if I'm smart about it, I could do, I could devote an entire city to higher learning. So I could put philosophy, biology, theology, and alchemy all right next to this university. And now normally I'd have to put a guy on any one of these to activate them, but when I do this, I can put a guy on university and activate all four. That's a very cool, very powerful thing to build up. Because Jen has squeezed her biology department in here, she can't get a cool benefit of being able to activate like biology and alchemy at the same time. She's out of space. Actually, if she had put this house over here, she's got room to put her alchemy in this space. How much, how do you build an alchemy? An alchemy needs two stone. She's gonna generate two stone. No, she's only gonna generate one stone. She doesn't use this stone this turn. The next stone next turn, she could put alchemy in this space and then she could start clearing out all the pollution and she could just stay home. So there are so many options, so many ways to build. I mean, I, I, I'm sorry, I'm only just scratched the surface. What have I not talked about? What other, I talked about forced labor lets you develop stuff faster, but kind of inefficiently. Um, the, uh, I talked about what all the different universities do, harbor, stables. Okay, actually I have talked about all the spaces. A dump, very, very nice to have a dump because you make less pollution. But me, I don't mind pollution because I just, um, you know, built out in the, in the woods. In fact, when I built, uh, actually, when I built this thing, uh, Mammal. Yeah, I don't know. I should have put it over here because that was a way to get rid of this pollution. And, uh, and still reaching out pretty far and extending far enough to where I could build this city like this in the future. So there's a lot of planning both in your cities as you do your layout, out on the, on the grounds, and as we start reaching further and further out, we will start butting heads. We w our, our zones of control have a potential to start overlapping. And then that's when player order comes really quick because if we both have a zone of control, we both want to get at this mountain range, who gets to put a person there first is decided by order. And the other thing, um, you know, if we're, our zone of controls extend out, if I, get to go, if I get to go first, I could dump my pollution in Jen's area. Another thing, one of the uh, wind conditions is, you know, basically surround somebody. Have your zone of control completely surround their zone of control. So that's another way to win, an area majority kind of way as well. So anyway, there is so much to this game, but I think I've covered enough of it, so I'm going to stop right there because it's really starting to get dark in here, even with the lights on. So, thanks for watching, everybody. You can go to Final Thoughts in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1.